You guys probably know about this thing. It's been shown in a million different other videos, but in case you don't, this is the Martaz joystick. It's called the GMK joystick. I decided to fully switch to this. It has an analog and you just shove it right between the V and B key or wherever you like. I can have really, really optimal binds this way because it frees up all of WASD and I can position my hands in any spot so I can press as many keys as possible. This is essentially the Martaz joystick. And I'm gonna tell you in this video, the reason why I switched to it, I'm gonna show you my progress for day one and then day two. I'm gonna try and keep you up to date with how much better I've been getting and the hopes of doing this is to teach you guys a new way of learning how to get better from being like a bot kind of like when i start as i talk for the next couple seconds this is going to be old gameplay to show you how good i was before i made the switch then towards the end of the video i'm going to show you some late game arena gameplay and some arena gameplay to show you exactly how i go about improving and what i'm doing in this process don't forget to use code chem means and if you're interested don't forget to check out the merch down below i always get tons of questions to make things a little bit more basic but everyone seems to really want to know how to get better from scratch what's some steps you need to take to get good fundamentals so that you can become that next upper level pro that you're really trying to be. Now, I definitely don't claim to be a pro. I don't have any crazy earnings, full transparency, but I can go into arena. And just like you've seen in all my prior videos, I could slay out, get a lot of kills, box fight a lot of kids and do really, really well. What does that look like for me though, since I'm transferring over to the joystick? Main reason being putting it simple and sweet. I tried to switch over to the joystick because one, I'm tired of having non-optimal buying. Even as a player at my skill level, there's certain things and certain actions that you do on Fortnite. And when you're in the midst of the situation, it causes you to die because you don't have optimal binds. I'm sure at one point or another, no matter how sweaty you are, you have felt the same way at least doing one action on Fortnite. I DM Martas, the one and only GOAT who really uses this joystick to the fullest potential. I asked him about his transition and what he thought was the most optimal binds and if his binds were the most optimal for the person on the joystick. With that being said, I went forward and tried to create my new binds, but basing it off Martas's binds. I sat down and as I was thinking for the right binds, I know a lot of people starting out, they don't have experience, but since I already had a a set of binds that I was really, really good with, I tried to do one thing. I made sure that when I was creating the new joystick binds, I didn't change my old building binds too drastically. So on my mouse, I used wall and stair, and I kept that the same as I transferred over to the joystick. That means I'm still gonna be able to be kind of cracked. I'm gonna know how to edit already so I could triple edit and all that stuff. It's just a matter of placing the builds like the floor and the cone, and those are the two binds that I switched up. I have a really, really good optimal shotgun bind. What I really like about this joystick is that the fact, however, whenever I'm moving and when Whenever I'm doing anything on Fortnite, box fighting, build fighting, all I have to do is press the S key and that's what my middle finger is resting on. So throughout the entire time I'm build fighting and fighting people, my finger is already resting on my shotgun so I can take it out at any time really fast. I played arena for a while today and didn't really do too well, but I almost feel as though a lot of people on social media don't really show the come up and how bad they were struggling in the beginning. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna show you the clips I got in arena with the GMK joystick. These are the past like five games I played. I'm rolling up to this guy. I barely know how to build. I definitely had height and a shot on this guy but i literally just choked it because one i forgot my weapon slots and i forgot my building binds definitely need to practice this a little more in creative i switched my jump bind around so i'm hopping around at the most awkward times and everything just looks really weird and out of place without being able to jump and crouch like i normally did it gets really really hard when fighting people i got the little chem beans mind inside of me as you can see when this guy had a wall in front of me i ran to the opposite side so i could try and shoot him and place a wall really quickly once i had him white here i tried to spray through and i literally forgot my smg bind like midway through the fight i was hoping the bot i am that he would just make an edit and make this whole thing really easy for me to kill him. When you suck at remembering things, you literally are forced to play so slow. When this guy came into my box, I just completely whipped my shot. I didn't know how to react and I died. Oh, let's go. This right here was about the only kill that was actually pretty good. I used my right hand peaks. I took some walls. I shot and placed the wall right away. I really like how I handled this fight and how I was able to box fight people. And I was trying to force myself to do this. One of the ways I'm going to get better is by doing things just like this and forcing myself to take fights, especially when I know no one else is around. Nice. Let's go. The second I get beamed here, I completely forget everything I'm supposed to be doing. I didn't practice boxing up too much, and this definitely shows it. Really proud of myself for throwing a cone in this guy's box, taking the wall behind a low key right hand peek. And once I get it, I almost had the good edit. But then I got third partied and now I'm forced to box up. Silly me is trying to go for peace control and I try to do this cool little edit and I end up choking, get hit for like a hundred and some odd damage. I'm running back, trying to play angles and it just turns into a mess. No. 
this sequence of plays was something else. I see this guy, he's shooting a llama, so I kill him. Not in a very smart comm matter, but I got the job done. Once I kill the llama, I'm trying to sort my inventory and look for a shotgun. It took me about 20 minutes to find out which way I wanted to organize my inventory with all these heals. I got so overwhelmed how I didn't know how to sort anything. I saw a shotgun, and then as I was trying to grab it, I got shot. To make matters worse, I pull up my Windows key as I'm trying to do everything, and then this kid just sprays into my box and kills me situations like this is gonna happen to you if you don't remember your binds i just need to do more practice this is only day one day two I can't, I can't, I can't. This right here wasn't too bad of a fight and I kind of kept my grounds, understood where he was going, tried to exploit in when necessary. Up until the end, it got a little shaky, but we ended up pushing through. Oh. Oh my God, that was so <laughs> Once I got the kill though, you can see here, I'm trying to literally look at this loot for 20 minutes as I sift through my inventory and try to get things in the right place. This right here was the very next fight as this kid tries to push up into my box. Let me in! Fresh out of 100 build fight tips and tricks video, this was my first build fight in a real arena game on the joystick. The very first thing I do is pull out my map as I'm trying to place my builds. Very smart and 200 IQ. My mechanics for the most part, obviously they're not there yet. But you can see I have the idea about where to peace control people, how to get builds on people, what to do in box fights, build fights. Mechanically speaking though, this is what we're going to be working on and I'm going to bring you guys along through this process. No shot. No shot. Oh my god, the free fire. This is the first time I hopped into late game arena. And this is the mode that I'm going to be using to practice a lot in my box fights, my build fights, just pressuring people, taking out my pickaxe, my shotgun, switching things around in my inventory. Late game arena is super, super good for that. Also, you can low-key find a decent amount of launch pads if you kill enough people. You can fly around the map and just win the game really fast. I'm going to be doing this and then I'm going to be doing creative and practicing all my mechanics at once. I developed a ton of game sense with like the hundreds and hundreds of tutorials I've made in the past. So as a Fortnite player, I'm not too worried about that side of Fortnite. I'm more so worried about the mechanical side. I'm not going to go crazy and give you constant updates about how I'm doing all the time. All I'm saying is give me two weeks to a month and you guys are going to see how good I'm actually going to be. I have some faith in the process that we're going to turn out to be an absolute beast. Also, there's going to be a lot more tips and tricks coming about more basic things because you're going to see me screwing up on the most obvious things in Fortnite. Switching over to this input, the GMK joystick, it's going to make me realize small things that I didn't realize were complicated when you're trying to learn Fortnite again. To get some fresh content in here this is exactly what i plan to start posting but there's also going to be some more advanced tips and tricks and all that's still coming your way please leave a like to help my crippling fortnite mechanics in this game so i can get better over time my last video was 100 tips and tricks for build fighting so if you haven't seen that yet i'm gonna leave a link down below in the description freaking love you guys it's been your man ken and i will see you in the next video